warming up every single workout with this movement here. David Johnson, my current PT, he's amazing. He works miracles. He wants to be warming up with every single workout, doing this to teach my scapula to move in a healthy position, healthy movement pattern. Then after this exercise, I'm gonna do push-ups. And push-ups is a progression from this. So it'll be the first thing I'm doing since the injury. That's actually loading the injured muscle. The injured tendon, injured tendon. And after I do this, you'll see I'll do four sets of 25 push-ups. Five seconds down, two second pause, five seconds up. So it's gonna be difficult. David Johnson doesn't want me doing anything with speed for at least another month. and no free weights, like barbell pressing and dumbbell work, because the movements I need to be doing now need to be in a fixed plane. That's the safest position for me to load the engine tendon right now. With the barbell, it's slightly moving around and it's not ready for that. Push-ups, it's fixed. Smith machine, fixed. Give you guys an example. All right, guys, so the goal was 25, but David Johnson thinks I'm black Superman. So came short, that's okay. 25, we're just shooting for the stars, right? Like ideally, if I could do 25, do 25, not more, not less, just 25 was a good number, he said. 10 was difficult, um, and he wants me to stay within three to four reps of failure. So he says going to failure with an injury, tendon injury, is a recipe for disaster because you'll end up re-injuring the injured muscle or tendon, right? So we're doing just enough work here to stimulate the tendon, stimulate the muscle, right? Teach the tendon to handle load again in a safe, fixed plane range of motion, right? We're not doing dumbbells, free weights, barbells. That's, that's dangerous right now. We're gonna give it about a month for that. After the push-ups, because on the third, fourth set, I'm gonna get tired. My form's gonna break down. It's gonna be very difficult to keep my scapula retracted in a good, healthy position. I'm gonna do the very exercise, this, whatchamacallit, Dave and I don't have a name for it yet. I'm gonna do this, again, to reteach that healthy movement pattern, because when I get sloppy in the push-ups, right, we gotta make sure my body remembers that this is the way to do it, not the tired version of my sloppy push-ups, so. I'm gonna do that again after push-ups to keep the shoulders moving in a healthy position, right? Whew, just a few more sets. Ah, get to it.
Shaking like a leaf. <laughs> Shaking like a leaf.
easy. So one thing that I don't always do right and I'm really working on now, especially because of the injury, is keeping shoulders down when pressing, pushing, right? So, yeah, or pulling, basically doing any upper body movement. The traps are such an overpowering muscle that most of us end up doing this when we're pushing, when we're pulling, when we're doing push downs, because the traps, like I said, such a big overpowering muscle and it's easy to stay here rather than here, right? So we end up doing everything here, here, and here with the shoulders way up here, right? So easy fix. Just before you start working, just keep your shoulders down, right? And shoulders down looks like this when you're using your traps and in an unhealthy shoulder position, it'll look like this, right? You can do more weight, but it's not healthy for the shoulders and you're not isolating your triceps your chest or your back, the muscles you actually want to uh, hit nicely. So, shoulders retracted, scapula retracted, shoulders down. And I noticed I get a much better pump when I have a very slow eccentric. So, about five second negative, then explode down. Keeping the shoulders down, 
this guy threw a track through the whole time. And you'll find, if you look at how much weight I'm using, it's not much. Not even half the stack. Oh, pretty burning. Oh. 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 Oh, I'm sweating, boys. I'm sweating. Ah, oh, I'm sweating. Ah, oh, I feel like dripping down my tricep. All right, guys, that's it for today's workout. This is what it's like when you got a good pump. You can barely form sentences, I'm telling you guys. When you have a hard time speaking, that's when you need to get a good pump. Anyways, chest and triceps today. Got a really great chest pump, really great tricep pump. Um, I'm learning that I just get a much better pump and mind muscle connection when I'm really slow and eccentric. So that's what I'm really working on for the next few months is not doing everything for speed and power, just working on that mind-muscle connection and really slowing down my eccentrics. It's also much safer for me to train this way with uh, the tendon injury. But again, no pain today. I went pretty heavy on the hammer strength variation of a decline press, no pain, did, um, Flat bench on the hammer, no pain, no pain doing push-ups. So I'm really happy with my progress. Only five weeks and I'm what, nearly 80% recovered. So that's phenomenal. Very happy with that. Definitely on track. And you know, my conditioning is actually pretty good considering I'm at the low 120s right now. I find it difficult to add size when injured. Um, but my, I'm very lean. I think I'm almost as lean as I was like three weeks out from my last bodybuilding show. Um, I told you what my diet's looking like right now. It's eating in three times a day, eating out twice. And when I eat out twice, it's whatever I want, really. So it could be like pancakes in the morning, and then something, whatever I want for dinner, maybe pasta, whatever. It helps to have a very fast metabolism. You know, not everybody can do what I do in the kitchen and eat out whatever they want and still get lean and shredded. Not everybody can do it, but that's one of my gifts. We all have our strengths and weaknesses, right? We know what my weakness is, my calves, for damn sure. <laughs> but one of my strengths is that I have a very fast metabolism. So for those of you who are asking like, what my diet is, my diet is not gonna work for you. You know, It might if you have a fast metabolism, but most likely it's not gonna work for you. On my membership side, however, I give nutrition guidelines, nutrition advice, so you can structure a diet that's best for you, right? Because diets are not one size fits all. It's dependent on the individual, your body composition, your height, your lifestyle, how much sleep are you getting, how much work do you do, all that kind of stuff is very important. Are you any, on any antibiotics? Have you had injuries lately? Are you recovering from surgery? All that's very important. And diet's not a one size fits all. So anyways, whew, as always, thank you so much for supporting, watching my videos. You guys keep the lights on. I'm super grateful for that. Um, no competition in 2019. 2020 is a big year. It's gonna be a big year for me, big year for everybody. And I'm looking at the February, March time to compete. It'll be a strongman show. I haven't picked what, what yet or where, but I just know that I'm gonna be working my technique, adding size, and choosing competition for the next few months. So stay tuned, like, subscribe, drop a comment, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you guys soon.